Welcome to Motivated Results. So today I'm going to be continuing the bodybuilding style review that I posted a couple of days ago. Today is going to be the dieting piece that I talked about in that video. If you have not seen that video, check it out here. Before I also go any further, I do want to give out a huge thanks to Brandon Campbell from Campbell Fitness. He essentially was the first person that um, helped introduce me to the macronutrient style of dieting and uh, was a huge help when I had questions and when I wanted to walk through stuff and stuff like that. So huge thanks to Brandon, thank you, and I'll be in contact with you shortly. Uh, if you guys don't know this channel, like I said, I'll, I'll post it below. So let's get started. So essentially what I ended up doing was going originally from a cut, a shitty cut to be honest, um, into a straight 500 calorie bulk. There's two issues in that process. One, no reverse dieting, and two, too high of a, of a bulk. And I, I realized that very late into the bulk when I was gaining over uh, roughly a pound a week. That's a little too high, and I might have suggested that in the past, I'm not exactly sure, but that's a little too high. You should probably be shooting for about half a pound a week, give or take, if you want to maintain lean gains. Um, overall though, I've tried both the clean eating dieting guide and both the If It Fits Your Macros, and they both have benefits and, and downsides to them. So I'm going to go a little bit into the positives and negatives because I did do both of these type of diets within the bulk um, and within the cut, so that's something to think about. So let's get started. This time around, I'll probably get started with positives, just changing it up a little bit. If you're familiar with these type of diets, I will post a video here where I talked about uh, macro nutrient style dieting uh, if, for those of you that are new. But for those that are not, um, let's talk about the positives and, and most of those for me are consistency. I mean, when, when you're tracking macros, when you're tracking these things on a daily basis, logging them and doing all that shit you need to do, there's consistency in your weigh-ins. There's not a lot of spikes, there's not a lot of um, issues per se unless things are, 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 are hugely impacted in one way or another with your diet. Um, it was nice being able to get up and almost seeing a consistent gain or a consistent drop for the most part. Now also, let's talk a little bit about if it makes fits your macros. Now, there, I find a handful of benefits in this dieting style for sure. One of which is, it's in the name really, flexible dieting. It's, it's a great way to diet to get results and it works. And it's an easy diet to maintain because you're not necessarily limiting yourself to anything. There isn't anything you can't really eat if you try hard enough. And you're never gonna feel the, like the odd man out at a party or at a function because you can't eat anything or you, there's nothing you can find that fits in your diet. And a lot of fad diet these days really do that. They really limit you on food that you can't eat. And flexible dieting, for the most part, if your macros allow you to, you can pretty much eat whatever you want and it works and it was surprising as hell to see and I didn't think it would work to be quite honest but it works it's great now with that being said there are a few negatives to doing this type of diet and um, having this type of lifestyle first of all the one that comes to mind primarily is the fact that most people probably tend to think of this as I can eat whatever I want so I'm gonna bulk on Snickers and ice cream and all this other shit and quite frankly you can you can bulk on it if it fits your macros and it'll work and it'll go through your system in a certain way but in the end you'll get the same results the one thing i do want you to think about is the fact that at least for me personally and and quite honestly probably for most people although a sweet potato might not be equivalent or maybe taste as great or be as good for most people as an ice cream bar there are benefits to one or the other. First of all, you are getting vitamins, you are getting nutri nutrients through the other, but because of those vitamins and nutrients, I feel that I perform a lot better, not just physically, but mentally with certain foods over the others. The bro side is, is heavy inside of me, and although it's great to do the ice cream sandwiches and it's great to all do all this other stuff that most people never consider diet food, there is something to be said about performing your best, not just physically but also mentally. Do definitely preach that you're supposed to be getting your vegetables in, you're supposed to be getting your fruits in, you're supposed to be eating for the most part 80 to 90 percent quote unquote clean and fitting the the treats and the things that you want to eat into your diet but not necessarily surviving off of those things. Another thing about this dieting, not just if, not just flexible dieting but just this bodybuilding style dieting, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass and, and if your family members, if your loved ones are not considerate 
of the fact that you're logging everything into your phone and you're tracking your macros and you're tracking all your food, it can lead to a lot of shit talking going your way and it can lead to a lot of just disappointment because you're not going to get a lot of people that are going to be as dedicated and supportive as you are. And that's, that's a definite negative in this aspect because people aren't ever going to be able to be as involved into things that you like as much as they do. So you're going to get shit talking for not being able to eat another slice of cake or not being able to eat another slice of pizza when they are. And I mean, that's something to think about. Also, because you're tracking so much of your food, there is a little bit of a pain in the ass piece where you have to spend X amount of time a day tracking your food and making sure that you're in within your numbers and making sure you have enough food left in the day and, and you know breaking down your stuff. I'm not one, I'm not the type of person that, that ate two or three meals a day because I couldn't. Not because I didn't want to, but because I have a decent metabolism and I get freaking hungry after three, four hours max. And so I would often eat, you know, four or five meals a day, give or take, because not because of anything else, but just hunger. So doing that, you know, it's probably a little bit more time consuming to, to eat your food and, and it's just a pain in the ass. So that's just kind of my quickie review of the bodybuilding style diet, benefits and negatives of it. Um, if I could give you some suggestions, if you were to do this on your own, or if you're going to be trying this type of system out on your own, my suggestion to you would be, first of all, find what's optimal for you. Not just the macronutrients, not just the necessarily the intake or the caloric surplus or deficit. I'm talking about find the foods, find the, the, the type of things that work really well with your body type and respond well with your body type. So you're getting the best of all worlds and you're actually performing both physically and mentally at your best. Secondly, if you do try the If It Fits Your Macros diet, make sure that you're trying to include vegetables and fruits in there. Make sure you're hitting your fiber. I, I can't stress that enough. I'll be making a video about that later on. And finally, my, my last suggestion is don't get fat as I did. I got pretty high body fat to be honest with you. And I don't feel that there's a need. I will be doing, um, teaser for the next video, I will be doing a lean bulking stage next time around in order to see if there's any benefits to doing that over doing my crazy ass bulk I did before. Um, but that we'll talk about in the next video. So that's about it for this one guys. I want to thank you guys for the views, thank you guys for the uh, comments, all that good stuff. Um, you know, I put out these videos out to help you guys. So uh, questions, comments, let me know, post them down below, send me a message, whatever. Um, huge thanks to everybody who's kind of supported me up until now. And um, that's it. Thanks again for watching. I'll be posting the next piece shortly, which will be an update on this channel, what to look forward to, and what kind of content I'll be posting on in the future. See you guys next time.